Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, Ray, thanks for joining us on today's video. Listen, what you're looking at right now looks great in video, but you need to see it in person even more because it is that nice. This is a complete frame off nut and bolt restoration. If you don't know what that means, let me just say this. It's two years and an enormous amount of cash. And that's why it's so much better to buy a car that's already been done, somebody's driven for a little bit uh, and enjoyed it, and then is willing to sell it for a lot less than they originally did. So uh, I see people all the time, they stop me and say, hey, listen, I found this old rusty thing on the side, thinking of kind of getting into business and hobby. Store the car, and I'm like, dude, go ahead. But I was telling you, my previous experience, it is a killer. I've lost money on every car that I've ever done, a nut and bolt restoration on, or I've barely even broken even, and I'm in the business. So maybe I don't know everything, but I do know a little something about it, and that's why I love this car so much. See, underneath this car is spectacular. The paint is miles deep. I love the colors of it, and it has some uh, small upgrades, and it's a matching numbers car as well. So throw in, you know, the RS package, and the matching numbers, and the four speed. This is a cool piece. All right, so come on up here. I want to talk about paint because paint to me is the mother load of expense on a car. If the prep is put into the car properly, you're gonna get great paint. People think it's all wrapped up in the paint and it's not. The paint is the paint. You can't change much of that. What you can change is the way the paint reflects to you. So for instance, like this right here. This right here shows, sorry, a little bit of dust, how easily you can read every single word. Whoops. So you can read every word. Can you see that right there? Okay. Every word in there. Wet sanded, made nice and smooth. Then the whole car is clear coated so you really can't feel the stripes. And the reason why that's important is as you wash and wax these cars, the stripes start to tear, makes the car look ugly. The next thing you know, you end up looking like me, ugly and not handsome like the car. And that's not what you want. All right? So listen to what I'm saying to you. Beautiful color, beautiful show, wax condition. And you pull up under the lights, the fluorescent lights and some show at night, man, this thing pops and sounds spectacular. Of course, we're going to get to hear what it sounds like as well. All right, so let's take a little walk around and look at some of the other things that we have here. All right, so for instance, some things that you might not notice or not might not ask about. 1960s disc brakes were not standard unless you got either the uh, you know the SS package or you special ordered them and things like that. This has power disc brakes. Very nice touch. So you have to correct flat caps for this year car. All right, instead of the tall caps, and it has the BF Goodrich radial TAs, which I think is a great sports tire and uh, not only is it a great muscle car tire, sport tire, it just has a great shape and it makes it drive so much better than the bias ply tires that we had back in the day. All right, all new stainless and emblems, all the trim in here is all brand new, okay? Keep walking around with me. You say, well, Tom, what's the big deal about trim? I can buy trim for a car for four or $500. Yeah, you're right, four or $500. And then we have to get bumpers, another $500. Front and rear spoilers, another five or $600. Paint and stripes, another five, six, eight thousand dollars. You can see how quickly all of this stuff starts adding up. New taillight bezels. Okay, look how nice the chrome is. It's black inside here, like it's supposed to. SS callouts. All right. This has the reverse lights down below, like it's supposed to have on an RS model. All right. So don't let people tell you that the RSs came with the reverse lights in here. That's what changes the whole car. And believe it or not, this is expensive to move these down here because then. If you have to buy the tail lights and assemblies, then you have to buy these right here, then you have to buy the right valance panel, and then you have to get it painted, right? So by the time you convert a car to an RS package, you could have 1500 bucks in it just in all of that stuff alone. So it gets to be pretty expensive uh, to do it right. So we've looked at the body and we said, wow, that's a really great looking car. Uh, show me under the hood for a second. All right, I'll show you under the hood for a second. All right, so we, before we jump into the engine compartment, I love to show out the RS front end. This is so cool. Just the way it's filled in in here, right? Uh, the spoilers, the tag bracket. I like the tag in the front because I think it kind of breaks it up a little bit. We can take that off if you don't like that in there, okay? And then right in here, uh, we've got high power headlights, which is really nice, all right? And uh, now I think the most important part is we should take a peek under the hood. Okay, cool. So this car here, believe it or not, is over restored. Well, what is well, when you say over restored, like, how is it possible to actually over restore a car? Well, this car is significantly nicer than when the way it rolled off the assembly line uh, circa 1968. Oh, that's what you mean. Yeah, so show me what you mean by that. Okay, great, good question. I'll show you what I mean by that. So check this out. See this firewall here? How nicely painted it is? It would have been black from the factory back then, all right? This is way nicer, the satin finish inside here. Engines detailed great valve covers, call-outs for the horsepower. And then you have here 
um, the ceramic coated headers, all right? Battery topper to make it look kind of original, all right? Just little stuff like that that says, wow, that's really nice. So we did talk about power disc brakes. This also has something that we forget to ask about, and that's power steering. Power steering is a big deal, we forget about that. This has it, it's very nice to have. And again, we said it's matching numbers. You can look on the pad right here and you'll see that the VIN number is there as well as the uh, suffix code. All right, so the nice decals are here, engine call outs. Look how beautifully painted it is under here. This is uh, another part that's even show quality. This chrome latch is not standard, but it's a really nice touch on the car. And I think that if you went to a show, these couple little things when you open the hood, make it look really, really nice. This is just a great car. And I'll tell you why I get so excited. I ramble on about this car, because this is the kind of car that I would own and I'd drive to work once in a while. I'd go there, take it on a Thursday or Friday, and I'm leaving work on that Thursday night or Friday night or whatever. I call whoever it is that I'm uh, on the way, and I'll see you in a few. And I shut the phone off, man, shut the phone off. No more texting, no more email, no more people screaming for your attention. Get in the car, let the shifter in your hand work a little bit, get some tunes rolling in there. I'm telling you, man, it's like therapy, it'll change your life. All right, so come on here and check this out, all right? This is detailed as well. So like new weather stripping in here, uh, call outs for like the jacking instructions, spare tire. Uh, we have an extra set of black seat belts in here. If you want us to install those for you, we can do that. I just wanted you to see how really nice uh, everything is in here. Just a wonderful, wonderful car. And, I, and again, I'm getting excited, but you can see it's splatter coat painted in the trunk and then it's splatter coat painted in the trunk and then it's clear coated over top of that. And why that's important is if this truck ever gets wet, let's say, you, let's say you put a cooler in the back and it sweats a little bit. If water gets underneath the mat because most splatter painted trunks don't have clear coat on them, they're not really protected and they end up rusting under the mat because it has no place to go. So that's why this will protect that from that, all right? Even this like here, everything wasn't spray bombed the same color. These are like stainless or cadmium bolts and they just look really nice and you can see the little touches that go on that make for a really nice car. All right, so come on and join me in here for a second. And the reason why I want to spend a second in here is because I want you to hear that. Somebody has spent so much time aligning the door, working on the body, doing the panels. This car started out as a really nice car and it's still a really nice car. And that's what I really love about it. So for instance, like new seat carpets, I don't know why we have the mats turned upside down. I think we, we're gonna let you do that. So this far as optional, thank you. All right, console, console gauges, all right? Original AM style radio. But here it's kind of cool because we have the factory uh, tack and gauges. So this has what's called the tick-tock tack in it, meaning it has a tachometer here and a clock in the middle of it, which is really cool, and the clock works. So, like how many times did a clock work uh, circa 1968? Uh, probably a year or two later, it did not. The dome light works, and you say, well, what's the big deal about the dome light work? Well, quite honestly, to make all this stuff work 40 and 50 years later, it can be quite expensive, and that's why I'm spending a little bit of time showing you a little more about the restoration. Little stuff. Hey, check this out. The console light works in the back here. Straighten that up for you. Okay. That's just a, a sign that somebody has really put some time into it. New seat covers, new panels here, new headliner, package tray, sail panels, backs of the seats. I mean, look at this car. It is really, really a nice car. Anyway, so I've talked about all of that stuff. The exterior of the car, the interior of the car, under the hood. This is a car you could take to a car show, all right? And uh, I see this right here had fallen down. But this right here, believe it or not, it's tightened with that screw there. I'll screw, I'll tighten that personally for you so that when you get it, I guarantee that that will not be in your way, especially when you're shifting gears and rolling down the road, all right? It's got the original Muncie style shifter in it. It's got the chrome ball. This is cool too, because it has the chrome tray around it, which is uh, covers the shift boot. So it's very stock and correct. And these gauges right here look very nice. You say, well, that looks nice. I mean, so what's the big deal? Well, the big deal is because if you want to add these to a car later on, this could be another $1,500. Well, how can that be $1,500? Well, I'll tell you how it can be. The gauges alone are, uh, let's say, $150 a piece. All right, now we're at $300. You do uh, uh, wiring, you need to get the console, you need to get the sending units, and you have to get somebody to wire all of that stuff up. I mean, it's a lot to get that done, so it can be very expensive. The three-spoke stainless wheel, I mean, it just looks really nice. It's all painted, color matched inside. The door jams are all shiny. The weather stripping is nice. It's just a wonderful, wonderful car. And on top of it, it sounds great. So let me push in this third pedal, which is the clutch.
much better. All right, fire it up for you so you can hear what it sounds like. So as we close up this video, listen man, in the sunlight or under the fluorescent lights of some car show, this grotto blue paint is off the hook, good looking. Brand new black interior, obviously under the hood, is really, really nice. You can't really see from the video underneath here, but we have some photos of the car underneath, and you can cl tell clearly that this is a beautiful, beautiful car, all right? Rally wheels, power disc brakes, power steering, uh, just a great, wonderful car. And if you want to, what we do for a lot of people is we add an AM, FM, CD sound system. We hide it in the glove box, so you can run it right from your uh, smartphone. You get great tunes in the car, but it leaves the dash kind of stock looking, and that's the ride phone that I talked about earlier. Put your tunes on, man, go for a ride, get this kind of smile on your face, and roll on down the road. Anyway, let us help you get this awesome 68 Camaro in your garage, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about it.